What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here, Delarose.com. That's D E L A R R O Z.com, also known as the leading Hispanic voice in science fiction. And thank you, by the way. I should I should mention that you have made my new book a number one new release. It is called The AI Wars, and it is going to be pulled up right now for you. Right here. Awesome. We're doing very well uh, for our new release today. And I'm going to put this in the link in the description below so that you can check this out. This is the real alternative to the comic industry. If you don't like the way that they treat customers, that they treat their fans, that they treat other professionals, like it's some sort of gossip circle, support the alternative. Uh, the alternative is here just to produce good, fun comics for you like you used to get from the industry before it became kind of this toxic wasteland. The AI Wars in particular is a book which is about the, uh, you know, evils of technology and how it changes us and messes with us, enslaves us, really. And of course, people fighting back against that in a resistance. That's what we're here to do in the channel. And that's what we're doing in the comic. So please check that out. All right, let's get back to this story. So yesterday, uh, Edwin Boyette, who was on our stream and talking for a, a moment yesterday, uh, stepped down as the head of the Hawaii GOP. Edwin Boyette is a uh, comic fan. He's a uh, book reader, avid reader. He's just a fan. He's never been a producer or anything like that. He's dedicated a lot of streams in the past to promoting independent works on Indiegogo and Kickstarter uh, and trying to actually lift up books that people are not uh, really paying attention to. He's really done a lot on that level and really helped out a lot of new creators. It's a, it's a great thing he's done all the way around. Uh, you should, as a comic creator, want to encourage people to do that. And uh, of course, we want to give people like that their due. Now, of course, you know, as a Hawaii GOP head, you it sounds like he's a big public figure or whatnot, but let's think about how many people are in Hawaii and how many Republicans, especially here in Hawaii, it's it's really not that big of a gig. It's just somebody doing some volunteer work and and really just donating his time. And uh, and this is the kind of flack he gets from it from the comic industry. It's very sad to watch. Now it started with uh, Ron Mars going off on what he said. Now why is Ron Mars going off on what the Hawaii GOP guy said? It's because it is Edwin Boyette, and the pros do pay attention to what he and other fans say, uh, but not in the way that they're trying to pay attention to what the fans want, which is the sad part. They're just out there trying to attack fans uh, for some reason. Here we are. Unless I'm mistaken, this is the same Edwin Boyette who is an extremely vocal Comicsgate supporter. Comicsgate, QAnon, and the GOP official, quite the trifecta. Uh, and then going off on this, uh, let me get this straight. The government is secretly controlled by a Satan worshiping blood drinking pedophiles. Do you have any other theories we should be aware of? SJWs are destroying comics. Both of these statements are true, by the way. Comicsgate, Gamergate, QAnon, MAGA, all comes from the same place. The world is changing rapidly, uh, chiefly white straight males. Ironically, as you can see, uh, Ron Mars is a white straight male and <laughs> uh, who can't handle it and their brains are melting. So very sad. Uh, now, I, Ron Mars actually is a very nice person in person. He's very different on Twitter than he is uh, on in, in reality. I'm not the type of person, uh, unlike these guys, who will just take a name, just take a political persuasion or whatnot, and just try to destroy a person and say they're they're awful just because of you know a couple of tweets. That's not what we do on this channel. We, we try to be better. Now, like I said, I've, I've interacted with Ma Ron Mars in person, gotten drinks with him super nice guy in person, uh, all about comics, and it was great. So why would he go online and do this on the internet? Well, there seems to be a trend of comic creators doing this beyond what just Bounding Ro Into Comics reported here, even though they did a great job. This all started with uh, Gail Simone uh, retweeting this GOP Hawaii uh, tweet, which was the one which caused Mr. Boyette to step down, which is now gone. Uh, it's It's been taken off. And, uh, you know, she swears in all caps about it, getting people riled up about it. Now, what happens is the comic industry is a very small place. There's probably a bunch of DM groups where they're talking smack to one another, going off on things, and then they're all colluding and, and posting this stuff at the same time. That's why you got Ron Mars doing it. That's why you got Gail Simone doing it. And this morning, we even had John Lehman, uh, who uh, was, was going off and swearing about Mr. Boyette. I was going back saying, he's a nice guy. You don't know him. Please, please don't do this. 
it's really sad because again, Boyette is just a customer. He's just a guy who goes on and, and makes videos periodically promoting indie comics. If these people have any indie comics, he would promote them too. He'd be very nice about them. I've, I've seen him have uh, extreme left-wing people on his channel talking about their books. I've had him, you know, extreme right-wing people. He's really just a guy who wants to promote art and good things. And so we could all get along. We could all get together and we could all have fun. But the problem is this gossip in the comic industry. And this stems back to that group I found on Facebook that kind of blew up this whole comic skate movement to begin with uh, back in 2017, I believe it was, where uh, Richard C. Meyer was colluded against and people were talking about trying to trigger him into throwing a punch in this Facebook group. Uh, it's, it's the same thing. It's, the, it's just a small group of people within the industry, and then they get the gossip train rolling to say nasty things. I want it to stop, and that's why I make videos like this to raise awareness. And that's, again, why I'm not trying to destroy Mr. Mars personally or anything like that, or, or Miss Simone or Mr. Lehman. Uh, all, all three of them I have positive interactions with. But the thing that we need to learn here is, like, we are not on opposing teams in the real world. Uh, we are all trying to get our comics seen. We are all trying to get customers. We could all work together if we stopped this nonsense and moved forward into some, some beautiful new art. But I think the comic industry has this culture of fear where if you don't say the right things, you don't do the right things, you're going to get this pile on. You're going to get canceled. You're going to get destroyed. And you're incentivized, therefore, to signal the right things at the right time. Uh, and it's really sad. It's really tragic. I, I, I really wish this wasn't happening. Um, so Mr. Boyette did nothing wrong. I, I'm really sad to see that these guys are going off on a comic fan like this. Uh, I think it, the behavior needs to stop and I want a different comic industry going forward. So what I'm going to do is just create one. I'm just going to keep making monthly comics. Nobody can stop me. I'm going to ignore the mainstream publishers. They will, uh, are obviously out to get fans and, uh, and not get fans in the get fans to buy their book meaning, but in get fans as in stick a middle finger to them. And I don't want anything to do with that. I want positivity towards fans. I want people to read the books and I want people to be able to have fun in peace without fear of the comic industry coming after them. All right. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below, hit that like, and subscribe button, and we will be back soon.